While there is a lot of talk about medications that are safe, unsafe during pregnancy, we don't hear as much about what medications we can and cannot take when breastfeeding. And I, of course, need to start off this video by saying that this is not medical advice and you should always talk to your doctor, your midwife, or your, your baby's pediatrician before starting or stopping any medication. I'm just sharing some of the most common medications that research has shown is typically safe or might pose a risk for the baby through breast milk. And you know, there are plenty of situations where the benefits of a certain medication, the benefits that it provides the mother outweigh the potential risks. But again, this is something that you need to discuss with your medical care provider. So all medications pass into the breast milk, but often at very, very low amounts. So typically very, very low amounts of the medications get into the breast milk. However, this isn't always the case. Some women metabolize certain medications at a rapid rate, which can result in higher levels of the medication ending up in breast milk. And again, yet another reason why you should check in with your care provider. They can help you determine if this is something that is relevant to you, you know, ra rapidly metabolizing a certain medication. Uh, the baby's health and age also makes a difference. So premature babies, newborns, babies with health issues, specifically health issues involving the, the kidney, kidney functions, they are at a higher risk for adverse reactions from medications in breast milk. Um, however, and this is interesting, medications used in the first two days after childbirth transfer at really, really low levels to the baby because you're producing such a small amount of milk during this time. And this is when you're producing the colostrum. So baby is getting like tiny amounts of those medications. And the risk is lowest for healthy babies six months and older, because at this age, the baby's body is pretty efficient at metabolizing any medication in the breast milk. Okay, so let's start with the medications that are typically safe for breast breastfeeding people to take um, after they run it by their care provider. Okay, so the good news is that a lot of medications are considered safe to use when breastfeeding, as again, that amount is, the amount transferred is really low. Um, and with that said, this is absolutely not a comprehensive list of all the medications that are safe. These are just typically the ones that people are sometimes surprised by. So antidepressants. Many people are really surprised to learn that most antidepressants are considered safe to use when breastfeeding. Um, and if you have anxiety, there are various safe antidepressants that support with anxiety and a few anxiety specific medications that can be used when you're breastfeeding. Uh, Tylenol, ibuprofen, they're safe. Regarding birth control, the mini pill, also called the progesterone only pill, is, is fine to take. Um, and the reason that other hormonal types of birth control typically aren't recommended when you're breastfeeding is because researchers are still trying to determine if those other hormonal types of birth control pills can impact the milk supply. Most antibiotics are safe, antacids like Tums are all good, blood thinners like heparin are okay, um, and because products that help a mother stop smoking, you know, like nicotine patches, usually pose less of a threat to the baby than being exposed to cigarette smoke, most care providers will okay moms to use something like the, the nicotine patch or gum. Antihistamines, aka allergy medications like Zyrtec, Claritin are usually fine. Uh, Sudafed is the one exception. Usually Sudafed is not recommended when you're breastfeeding. Most sleeping pills can be occasionally 
used when you're breastfeeding as long as you're taking the prescribed dose and you're not co-sleeping. That's really important. You should definitely not take any medication that makes you drowsy if you are co-sleeping. Antimicrobial medications like Monistat, penicillins, those are safe. Asthma inhalers, stool softeners like Colace. Muscle relaxants like Flexeril are usually okay. And then local anesthetics for things like a dental procedure, other minor procedures, um, and even going under general anesthesia for a, a surgery that is really needed for the, the mother's health is, is usually fine. Okay, medications that are typically not recommended when breastfeeding, opioids, codeine in particular, as opioids can make the baby drowsy and might create breathing problems. Many decongestion, decongestants, so hard for me to say that word. <laughs> Even nasal decongestant sprays can potentially reduce your milk supply and might create irritability in the baby. Aspirin. So aspirin, there has been a link found between small amounts of aspirin in breast milk and something called Ray's syndrome. And this is something that can cause liver and brain damage. And so Ray's syndrome, that's spelled R E Y E apostrophe S syndrome. If you want to look it up and read more about it. Okay, medications that contain doxylamine, um, like NyQuil, for example, because they can impact milk supply and make the baby drowsy. Some cancer medications, some epilepsy and seizure, seizure drugs should be avoided unless, again, the you talk to your doctor and the potential benefits of the medication for the mom outweigh the potential risks. So again, these medications are definitely not like an absolutely never can't do them, but they're just ones that, you know, your, your care provider will have to work with you to again weigh, weigh the pros and cons and figure out what is safe. Um, and then finally, some beta blockers, you know, and these are medications often used for something like high blood pressure. Okay, and so when taking any medication, even ones that are on the safe list, keep an eye on the baby, especially right after you start taking it to see if they develop any symptoms like drowsiness, fever, rash, anything else that's abnormal. And of course, always alert the baby's pediatrician if there's anything that concerns you. Um, and in addition to talking to your medical care provider, you can check out the National Library of Medicine's Drug and Lactation Database, and it provides information on almost every medication under the sun and gives you some more information about the research that has been done on that medication and breastfeeding in particular. So there is a link to that database in the description below. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below.